2014 had its ups and downs for Louisiana farmers. They harvested record yields for several crops, but saw significant drops in the market prices for most commodities. Of course, that's a function of supply and demand in the U.S. market. Corn was around $5 a bushel in 2013, but was down to $3.50 in 2014. Soybeans were around $10, down 2 to $3 from the previous year. In 2013, cotton was at 80 cents a pound. In 2014, it was 65 cents. Rice also saw a drop of a few dollars in 2014 and was around $12 a hundred weight. Selassie said sugarcane was the only major commodity in Louisiana to see a price increase, but it was a small one. Corn and soybeans broke records again for yields, and cotton and rice had high yields. With crops like cotton and corn, for example, that are very high production cost commodities, um, a good yield or even a record yield is going to help, but it's certainly not going to make up for a big price drop like that. Selassie said market trends for 2015 aren't showing much movement in prices during the next six months. Major concern or interest on the part of most, most producers is, is what's going to happen to commodity prices in, in 2015. Lower fuel costs could help farmers in 2015. Selassie said diesel prices are about 30 to 40 cents a gallon lower now than they were six months ago. Also, with the new Farm Bill, farmers will have several decisions to make at the beginning of the new year. With the LSU Wax Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.